Affordable TWS earbuds market has exploded with two latest additions in the sub 5,000 rupees price segment. I'm talking about the Noise Buds Zero and the OnePlus Buds 3. Actually, the Zero can qualify for a sub 4,000 rupees price point, while the OnePlus Buds, yes, they are priced at 5,499 rupees. But with bank offers, you can snag one for 4,499 rupees, which makes it one heck of a deal. And so with a difference of only about 500 rupees between these, if you have a choice and a budget of about 4,000 to 5,000 rupees, which one should it be? Does it make sense to get the Noise Buds Zero for about 4,000 rupees or should you put in the extra 500 rupees and get the OnePlus Buds 3 instead? Hello everyone, I'm Anir Fiber by India today and before I give you my pick between these two, consider hitting that red subscribe button for detailed tech videos and also turn on the bell so that you don't miss any of our latest updates. With that said, let's get started. Now, since we are talking about audio accessories here, let's cut to the chase and talk about which one sounds better. So in terms of hardware and features, the Noise Buds Zero has a 12.4 mm drivers. There's Bluetooth 5.3 for connectivity with a 10 meter range. There's support for SBC and AAC codecs along with adaptive ANC of up to 50 dB. Now the OnePlus Buds 3 on the other hand have a 10.4 mm woofer plus 6 mm tweeter dual drivers. There's Bluetooth 5.3 for connectivity with a 10 meter range. There's support for SBC, AAC and even LHTC 5.0 codecs if you have a high-end OnePlus device such as OnePlus 12 or OnePlus Open and there's adaptive ANC of up to 49 dB. So how do they sound? Let's talk. Right off the bat, connected to my OnePlus 12 with Udit Narayan's Mayaha who playing on YouTube music at the highest quality, that is 256 kbps, I found the Noise Bud Zero to be trebly in nature. Every sound that has a higher frequency from high-pitched instruments to female vocals sounds incredible on the Noise Bud Zero. Now, the OnePlus Buds 3, on the other hand, to my ears, sound better overall. And partially the reason behind this is the better bass output, of course. I was able to take advantage of the LHTC codec for a richer and cleaner sound experience on the Buds 3. But I think what really tilts it in the favor of the Buds 3 versus the Buds 0 is the thumpy bass output, which feels just about right and crisp. So across a variety of music that I heard on uh, both these devices, I think the bass output was uh, clean and distortion free on the OnePlus Buds 3, even at higher volumes. So while a track like Down by Marian Hill sounds pretty nice on the Noise Buds Zero, it is the overall quality along with the powerful and superior bass output which makes the OnePlus Buds 3 my pick. Bass purists are surely going to enjoy the low end punch of this thing. Now, of course, sound is subjective and what I may like, you may not and vice versa. So I would say that before you go on to buy a pair of TWS earbuds, uh, you should always, you know, try one out first for yourself. But uh, this is not the case with the Noise Bud Zero since these are only available online so that's a downer but in the case of the oneplus bud 3 you can always go to a oneplus store or a chroma store if you have one nearby and you can always uh, try out these first uh, before making a final purchase now as for the anc performance for their prices both earbuds are very capable in terms of cancelling indoor noises and disturbances like kitchen noises fan noises and other disturbances both are well apt for that However, outdoors, it is the OnePlus Buds 3, which again has a definitive edge over the Noise Zero in cancelling out the powerful and low frequency rumbles on a busy street. But again, considering we are talking about affordable TWS earbuds over here, don't expect the ANC performance to be like groundbreaking. I would say the performance is modest at best. Finally, when it comes to taking calls, again, both are very good, but ever so slightly, the OnePlus Buds 3 has the edge over the Noise Buds Zero because of the better microphones and better software tuning. So performance-wise, granted, the Noise Buds Zero are pretty good, but uh, for the extra cash, the OnePlus Buds 3 are definitely better. But uh, what about the other aspects? Does performance alone make the OnePlus Buds 3 a better pick over the Noise Buds Zero? Well, let's talk about the design and fit. Now, design-wise, I think uh, both these earbuds can have uh, takers. So while the Noise Buds Zero go for a pebble-like shape uh, for the case with a Type-C charging port on the side, the Buds 3 sticks to the tried and tested design that we have gotten accustomed to since the OG OnePlus Buds Pro. 
I also found the Buds 3's hinge to be sturdier than what the Zero's case offers and the third sound with which the Buds 3 closed with a sound more reassuring. As for the earbuds, both appear striking with glossy inserts on the stem. Now on paper, the Noise Bud Zero are lighter at 4.1 gram per earbud versus 4.8 gram of the Buds 3 per earbud. But because of the slightly shorter stem on the OnePlus Buds 3, for some reason they felt lighter and more comfortable. Now don't get me wrong, both earbuds have rubber tips and they fit snugly in the ears but personally for my ears, the Buds 3 has a better fit. In fact, unlike the costlier Buds Pro 2 which after a point slips out of my ears, the OnePlus Buds 3 stays put. Lastly, in terms of protection, the Noise Buds Zero have IPX5 rating, but the OnePlus Buds C, on the other hand, have IP55 rating, which means protection against dust as well as the water splashes. Now moving on to the controls and features of both these devices, I would once again say that the OnePlus Buds 3 offer a more complete experience. You see, if you want to control the earbuds, uh, tweak the equalizers, update the software and more, you can always install the Hey Melody app on your phone and you are good to go. In fact, if you have a OnePlus phone, you don't even need the Hey Melody app as the controls for the Buds 3 are built in. So the Hey Melody app is one place uh, that holds all the comprehensive settings and as it should be, you can tweak the touch and tap controls to your liking. Something that you can't do with the Noise Buds Zero, which I found annoying. So all you get here with the Zero is this booklet. Sure, it gives you all the controls like a double tap does this and a single tap does that. But why can't I tweak it according to my liking? For example, I want to play pause my music with a single tap, but on the Noise Buds Zero, you can only play pause tracks with a double tap, while a single tap on the left decreases volume and a single tap on the right increases volume. Now I'm not sure how much of a big deal this is for you because up until now I haven't been able to memorize the taps and touches on the Noise Buds Zero so a dedicated app like the Hey Melody app for the Buds 3 is, will be much appreciated but if you are able to get through this learning curve then I am pretty sure the taps and touches are pretty accurate on both the Buds 3 and the Noise Buds Zero. The OnePlus Buds 3 has a 520mAh battery on the case while each bud carries a 58mAh cell. OnePlus claims up to 44 hours of battery life on a single charge with the case depending on your use case scenario. On the other hand, while I don't have the official battery specs of the Noise Buds Zero, the company does claim a battery life of up to 50 hours on a single charge with the case. Now in my usage, I was easily able to get multiple days of endurance from both earbuds. However, when it comes to performance on a single charge with mixed usage of ANC turned on off listening to music as well as watching video content. The Buds 3 easily lasts 5 to 6 hours on a single charge at about 60 to 70 percent volume which I am pretty comfortable with. However, this is where the Noise Buds Zero does one better and in a similar scenario lasted me 6 to 7 hours on a single charge. So yeah, you can easily squeeze an extra hour out of the Noise Buds Zero's endurance over the OnePlus Buds 3 but given uh, their fast charging capabilities, I think so overall, you know, endurance shouldn't be an issue at all with both these devices. So the writing is clear on the wall. So while the Buds Zero offer a bit of that premium experience from a brand such as Noise, I think the earbuds still miss out on some key features such as dual connection and uh, Google Fast Pairing as well as a dedicated app for controlling the earbuds. Now granted the audio performance is great for a price of about 4000 rupees and if you have already stretched your budget to this much you can definitely consider purchasing the Noise Buds Zero. However if you're someone who loves uh, their earbuds bassy and with features like app control, dual connectivity, Google Fast Pairing and support for high res codec are your thing. And and if you also happen to have an ICICI card or one card credit card, then for a price of about 4500 rupees, the OnePlus Buds 3 is a steal. Of course, if you don't have the aforementioned cards and you still want the OnePlus Buds 3, sure, get it. I think as an overall product, they are definitely better than the Noise Buds Zero. But then also keep in mind the price tag of 5,499 rupees that the OnePlus Buds 3 come with. But you know, honestly speaking, the Noise Buds Zero are impressive, but the OnePlus Buds 3 at its higher price is totally worth the extra cash if your pocket allows it. Rest of you guys, let me know your thoughts about both these devices in the comments below. If you have any questions, reach out to me. I will be glad to answer it for you. And as always, for all the latest in tech, stay tuned to Fiber. I'll catch you all in the next one. Thank you for watching.